guess it was happening three years ago or so. Some details, of course, had vanished from my memory. We were challenging a horrible issue. We were almost exhausted. Unable to estimate the evil we had faced. We were on the edge of a disaster because we were not prepared. It was... Under heavy load. Yay! Hi, I'm Alex Sergienke, and today we will cover the performance section of Netty. Once we had a Spring Boot based microservice deployed on an OpenShift cluster which provides a REST endpoint, retrieving user data from a NoSQL database. For some unknown reason, we were unable to gain more requests per second. The mystic power was stopping us at the level of 250 requests per second. The strange thing was that the microservice was consuming only half of the given CPU resources, so we had no idea about the actual reasons for such behavior. There were two CPUs and one gigabyte of heap given to the microservice, but without any luck. Our expectations were at the level of 5 to 600 requests per core, but we were unable to reach even 200, despite the fact that a huge power reserve remained available on both processor and memory. The microservice was redesigned at least five times. We tried to change our algorithms, swapped to embedded Undertow and even Tomcat, implemented the native Linux EPOL transport, by the way it was a very good idea, switched from Java Reactor to plain old thread pools and back and forth, but nothing helped us to overcome the limit of 250 requests per second. We sampled CPU utilization for many times, profiled and tuned out the JVM even swapped from JDK 8 to JDK 9, since there was a bug in the early Hotspot 8 versions with runtime get runtime available processors. Our initial thoughts were that we were experiencing a kind of network problem, and I believed the cause was hidden behind TCP flow control. So we did some TCP tuning and attempted to increase RMEM and WMEM and other Linux parameters. I'm sure it yielded some results in the end, but we couldn't prove it since we couldn't get above 250 requests per second at the time. So finally, we attempted to implement an echo or dummy resp endpoint that returns their request at the response, followed by a low test in the same environment. It showed around 1200 requests per second, so we thought that because there were no valuable latencies in the echo endpoint, there might be a limit in the connection queue. So the faster echo service served requests 10 times faster and had some empty queue positions, whereas the slower endpoint worked 10 times longer and had no empty connections. There is a Netty server customizer interface which can be used to customize Netty's event loop. So we just implemented it in our project along with the migration to the native EPOL transport. But you should know that it can also be used to override other parameters. Pay attention to the channel option SO underscore backlog option. It passed through the socket option, determining the number of TCP connections queued. Here is a quote from Oracle. The maximum queue length for incoming connection indications a request to connect is set to 50. If a connection indication arrives when the queue is full, the connection is refused. If Netty is unable to obtain the 
SO max con parameter from the underlying operational system and you haven't overridden SO underscore backlog, then Netty will assign it defaults of 128 for Linux and 200 for Windows. Here is a screenshot from the NetUtil Netty class. Please pay attention that both so max con and channel option dot so underscore backlog are taken into account and the smallest value will be used. So you have to tune both. In our case we set them both to two thousands and ran our standard load tests once again. We were excited by the results. We gained 1200 requests per second by editing only two parameters. There were no additional enhancements, so we finally found this invisible wall that was keeping us on high alert for the last three weeks. You probably should know that there are a lot of parameters which have a huge influence on the application's performance. And one should thoroughly inspect them before using in a production environment. Here we have absorbed the net core SO max con, which defines the maximum quantity of open sockets waiting for a connection. You can also find some information regarding max scene backlog, which stands for the maximum quantity of the stored connection requests that have no acknowledgement from the connection client. It was Alex Sergenka, I hope it was helpful. Have a warm summer wonderful day. Bye.